Hi, I'm George Levy and I'm currently at Mining Disrupt 2023 and I'm having the great opportunity to speak with Frank Holmes, one of the speakers here. Frank, great to see you. It's great to be here. I'm really excited to speak with you. You know, your session was amazing. You're really focusing on sustainability, making the world a better place. Tell us a little bit more about your message and why you're delivering this message. Well, you know, we were the first high block, blockchain it used to be called, and we changed the name to High Digital because it better reflects all the things that we do. And we were the first crypto mining company to go public in 2017, and we're the only so far to stay totally focused on green energy. So we mine using geothermal in Iceland, uh, hydro in Sweden, and hydro in Quebec and New Brunswick. And the other part that's so cool is that we take a building in Montreal, 40,000 square feet, we mine Bitcoin, and we take the heat, and it goes across and it heats a building 200,000 square feet, five times bigger, and it's as 170 workers making whirlpools. And now in Sweden, we're in the planning session for to complete the 90,000 square foot greenhouse that will provide all the sustainable vegetables in the northern part of the Nordic countries for tomatoes and cucumbers. So that idea of no footprint coming from Spain so people haven't really, really appreciated you can use Bitcoin mining, not only source green energy, but you can reinvent it. And the other big exciting part, which I'm excited to meet you, is that we've invested in ordinals. Nice. And we found that you have one Bitcoin is 100 million Satoshis. Mm -hmm. What people didn't realize, and I've been saying this from day one, that Bitcoin mine that's green will become like Warhol art. Ooh because it's, it's, it hasn't been in the cyberspace, it's been untouched, if you're a collector. And what we've just found, because of, of uh, the boom in, in the protocol, uh, is uh, we have 200 Satoshis that might be worth two cents, are worth $250,000. Why? Because they were at an inflection point in the history of Bitcoin mining. So if you were at a halving, the first coins of the halving, the first of any event, all of a sudden become more valuable. So now we have a hundred million idea of a Satoshi. So that makes me really excited because the idea that this we create is actually digital art. And now the, and then we've invested in a company called Matador Gold. And Matador is using AI and they'll create, like Andy Warhol did, do you remember the famous Mao painting? Right. So each year he did 1,000 only, one color. Sure. One year's red, next year's blue. Limited and, editions, each one of them. They come out at $1,000, they went to a quarter million. Sure. Limited, Very as, as the adoption grew of the appreciation of Warhol, the art went up. So we're going to come out with this art, so this is the year of the bunny. So you think 1,000 gold bunnies, each one with AI will be different. It'll be codified like Bitcoin's hashtag, and behind it would be one gram of gold in an NFT format, and they'll be able to separate and trade. And then we're, we're working with other new, new artists, looking for new artists that have this sort of innovative idea to appreciate, and then we can do these launches where it'll always be only 1,000 pieces. So you're the artist, you do the drawing, you do all the stuff, it makes it, it all what we love. Now we're going to turn around and run through the AI and give 1,000 versions of it and then put it behind, each one will have a gram of gold. I love it. Yeah. Now that supports the ecosystem, the Bitcoin ecosystem so key. And Ordinals has been a great game changer and it's attracted so many developers that were in the world of Ethereum. Mm -hmm. And at one time we were the biggest Ethereum miners in the world before it went to proof of stake for proof of work. And I don't believe proof of stake is really a digital asset like we have when you have Bitcoin. Sure, sure. And so the marrying of three things, gold, this has been around for thousands and thousands of years, with modern art, digitized, uh, so it can be straight all around the world, and the artist can get a little royalty. So there's not a big commission, it's basically a small royalty, and so the more it trades, the more value is created for that artist. It's fantastic, and the best part about it all, I'm just tying it all back together, you're not killing the planet in the process. No, 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 no. We help the planet. We, we, we go into areas that there's no business. Uh, we, like in Bowdoin, uh, we sponsor the hockey league for 12 kids teams. 
uh, the arena. We're working on the engineering to do Bitcoin mining to heat the arena sure. to save the community $200,000 a year. At the same time, commercially viable. Mm -hmm. That uh, we give our, some of our GPU chips as our expertise. So last year we were one of the biggest buyers of NVIDIA chips, and we're part of the NVIDIA network. So we're already in the AI business, right. and it's now ramping up and scaling. Uh, and so we're so excited seeing we're part of the great digital transformation. I like that. I love the pre everything you're putting to is like I've always said. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time since my day one but you're really making the world a better place and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for being here. So how can people find out more about the different projects you're pointing out? Well, I'm a money manager and uh, I created the idea of the co-founding of Hive was because I couldn't launch a Bitcoin ETF in 2017. Mm -hmm. So okay. we went out to start crypto mining and you create virgin coins. So you don't have this KYC AML risk. Mm -hmm. And so Hive has become an, a, pro a proxy for investors, older guys like me, that are reluctant to go to For Virgin coins. Virgin coins. So they're re they're reluctant to go in on, a, on an FTX exchange and buy something because of all the bad news. So Hive has become their proxy, and so that was sort of the, the creation of it. With that, I have other ETFs like Jets listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and so I write every week. My investment team supports this, and it's called usfunds.com. Got it. U.S. like money. Usfunds.com, and I, my articles go to I think it's 80 countries, 180,000 people. Fantastic, changing the world, Frank. What a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Changing the World Technology. I invite you to subscribe, share the podcast far and wide, and stay tuned for upcoming episodes. Until next time, visit my website at georgelevy.com to connect with me, follow me on social media, and sign up for my free email newsletter packed with valuable tips and bonuses. Changing the World Technology with George Levy. Brought to you by Blockchain Institute of Technology and AI Institute of Technology.